Welcome to Real Women, Real Life. It is always wonderful to be with you. And on today's program, we are going to be speaking to an incredibly interesting man. His name is Dr. Andre Vermeulen. He has been on the program quite a few times before, so you are not a stranger to him. But on this particular program, I believe that the insight that he's going to bring across, particularly with regards to his, his company, which is called Neuralink, but, and, and the insight that he has with regards to the brain is just so incredibly fascinating. I know that you are going to enjoy it. Every time I listen to Andre speak, I sit there with my ears really paying extreme attention not to miss any bit of information that he gives. So stay tuned to the whole program. And at the end of the program, I hear that he's even going to be giving some product away. So you want to stay tuned for that because you want to get your hands on one of his books, on one of his products. I can guarantee you that. So I'll be back with you shortly after this very quick break and introduce you to Dr. Andre Vermeulen. It is such a privilege to have with me on not our set, but a different venue today to have Dr. Andre Vermeulen with me from Neuralink. Andre, welcome to Real Women, Real Life once again. I feel so privileged always being on the program, uh, program uh, Tracy, and thank you for having me. It's an absolute privilege. Andre is not a stranger to Real Women, Real Life. We've had you quite a few times. I think this is our fifth program that we've actually done with you. But for those of you that have no idea who this amazing man is, Andre, if you don't mind me saying that, I think, if you don't mind, Dr. Andre, can you give us a little bit of background of yourself? Who are you? Where are you from? What do you do? Well, you know, Tracy, for me, the first thing is... Um I always like to say I'm just an ordinary guy, but uh, someone who's got a calling. God gives us all a calling. Right. And my calling is to help people become more of who they could be. But uh, the specialist field, the toolbox that we work from, in order to help people become more of who they could be, is to look at the latest research on how the human mind works. Okay. So we specialize in the neuroscience of learning. And we use that information to help people optimize their brain performance and improve their learning, thinking and creative abilities. Sure. Okay. Yep. So your company's name is Neuralink. Absolutely. So, so Neuralink is, um, we, we specialize in people development, but we do a lot of work in the corporate world, working okay. with adults, uh, spending time on doing things like leadership development, developing emotionally intelligent sure. leaders, uh, performance improvement, potential development, stress management. Okay. We have many accredited programs with uh, uh, health uh, professionals, sure. council in okay. South Africa, where practitioners like doctors and psychologists can do workshops through us and get okay. accredited for that. But then in the... Um, uh, educational world we we do a lot of work developing teachers yes, developing yes. learners but right. then also assist assisting parents in helping their children to optimize their potential so we sure. empower them to help their children but wow. people development in a nutshell is what Neuralink does that is that is absolutely beautiful that I know that just by looking at your website if you want to go check out dr. Andre's website at Neuralink it's really very informative but one of the questions that or one of the statements that was made on your on your website is what makes Neuralink different so I know that there are a variety of places there are a variety of companies that might offer something similar to what Neuralink does what makes your company different um, you know, Tracy, we are learning specialists. So in, in the educational world, we, we uh, specialize in assessing how people learn and think and then also evaluating the drivers that influence brain performance. And then once we've evaluated that through okay. our assessments, mm -hmm. we have interventions that we run to uh, optimize performance. To give you an example, you know, um, you may sometimes have a child with a very high IQ, yes. but they turn around a B and a D. Okay. Or you have children ending up in special class, but they're actually very gifted children, right. and you may wonder now, how is this possible? What went wrong? What went wrong? Yes. And, and it's, uh, you know, very often it is a question of the child perhaps not utilizing both sides of the brain okay. uh, simultaneously. The good news is a lot can be done to empower that child yes. 
to yes. utilize both sides of the brain. So you've got to first assess and see what is it that is a hindrance to this child. Okay. And all we need to do is to then remove that hindrance and empower them with appropriate skills. Okay. But, you know, there are many drivers that optimize performance. So if we look at it, it can be brain fitness, yes. but it can also be a learner's attitude. It can be their diet. Right. It can be the physical environment in yeah. which learners learn and think. Mm -hmm. um, uh, for instance, you know, if, uh, in a classroom situation, if there's no aircon, uh, you know, their yes. concentration goes down yes. because the yes. brain learns under conditions uh, uh, much better under conditions of Correct. being cooler rather than being warmer. Okay. When, right. when I study, uh, the colors the human mind respond to the worst are white, black, and gray. Wow. But, I mean, look just at textbooks. Look Art at textbooks. textbooks. Not just that. Exactly. Now, sure. if we look at fluorescent lighting, reflecting on white paper into the learner's eye, it will cause a lot of learning and visual fatigue. So wow. we may have all that technology can yes. offer, but sometimes that in itself may not be, uh, it may not be an environment that is conducive for learning for the child. That is incredible. The, then we look at, for instance, learning skills. The average Japanese reader reads 650 words a minute. Right. The average South African tertiary skilled reader reads 250 no. words a minute. So serious? This is the information era. Information okay. is exploding. Yes. So the guy who's got great reading skills, who can cover volumes of information, one is just going to be so more competitive. Yes. Uh, so yes. just that one learning skill that you need can make you so much more competitive. Wow. So lack of skills, um, not being brain fit, yes. um, uh, the wrong attitude towards learning, okay. uh, an environment that's not conducive right. for learning. All these things negatively impact the learner's sure. ability to learn. So here we have this child with all this unlimited potential, right. yet they, they, their performance may not reflect that. Yes. And that's the business that we are in, is to first do an assessment and see how can we f uh, look at how this learner learns, mm -hmm. and then what can we do to optimize that. So Brilliant. we, in a nutshell, we uh, identify about six drivers that optimize performance, okay. and then also look at seven different neurological learning styles. Sure. But if you look at the whole big picture, you will know exactly where to go to to assist that child to optimize their performance. Sure. And then when it goes to adults in the corporate world and right. with, with parents, we use similar tools, but just on their level, to for them to create more um, awareness about okay. themselves okay. and what makes them tick. Right. But then also for them to say, what can I do to still optimize my performance? And then obviously NeuroLink specializes uh, in many areas where we do emotional intelligence development, yes. uh, mental wellness, okay. leadership development. But the angle that we come in from is the neuroscience of learning. So Incredible. if we offer uh, an emotional intelligence development program, it's always from a brain-based perspective. Okay. So it's never from a different perspective yes. than that. And I yes. think what makes Neuralink very competitive is the fact that we have a very scientific approach towards learning. Okay. And in the business world, if you evaluate in terms of behavior change and results that our training, training programs yes. offer, we have almost three times uh, wow. better results with our sure. learning results than some of our competitors. But we believe because it is the neuroscience of learning yes. That, yes. that is our competitive advantage. So Neuralink is a unique company with a unique specialist field, yes. having unique products, but then gives, that gives us very profound results. Incredible results. Yeah. Well, Andrea, I mean, that is just such a incredible um, or mouthful of information already and I can just hear your passion and I think you know what I really believe about anything is that if you look at the person who leads a company and if their heart is passionate about what they do that in itself is a recipe for success so you know, I think when I look at you I see a passionate man absolutely. I see a man who's not just very knowledgeable at what he does but you are passionate about the calling that God has put on your life to develop people absolutely. and I believe that is one of your successes you know what, uh, they say if you discover your passion in life, you'll never work another day. Sure. So I stopped working about 23 years ago. Wow. And I think I work harder than ever in my life. Yes. But I have to say that 
None of this has ever been a drag. Wonderful. Uh, I, God has ignited a passion and a fire in my yes. heart for this work. You know, some people get passionate about juggling the numbers in a business yes. or growing businesses or being business entrepreneurs. I get passionate about people. But I guess that is why Neuralink has been uh, growing and expanding because I have the privilege of having quite a few of my, our colleagues who are like-minded. Right. So for us, it is not a job. Such a key. It is who we are. It's what we do. And also our passion. Uh, um, this work that we do has transformed me Right. as an individual tremendously and therefore i cannot contain myself to share the good news yes. with other people if this That's is awesome. what it's done for You've me got the answer. You, well you, god is always the answer Absolutely. but he has given us many tools yes. that helped us become more of who we could be right. and right. and 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 god has liberated me from being this person who had many limited beliefs about myself that I can't work right, with people, right. can't talk to people, maybe I'm not good enough, to serving him with a passion sure. and I am good enough. You know, so Absolutely. how can you not be excited about that? And how can you not that? share that? Absolutely. Well, Andre, I am definitely, we are definitely going to speak with Dr. Andre after this break. And I, what I wanted to speak to you when we come back after the break is about the book that you have written on brain fitness and also a couple of other things. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss the rest of this interview. We'll be back with you shortly. Have you visited our Real Woman Real Life website? For current up-to-date program information, encouraging articles, announcements of events, and much more, pop in and browse our site. We would love to hear from you. Visit us at www.realwomanreallife.co.za. Welcome back. I am sitting here today with Dr. Andre from Yellen from Neuralink. If you missed the beginning part of the program, I'm really sorry about that because it's been fascinating to hear Dr. Andre's viewpoint or basically to hear his, his description and interpretation of neuroscience through his company Neuralink, which is fascinating. So um, Dr. Andre, during the break, we were talking about the possible concern and maybe f stereotypical fear that could maybe come in with a person when they hear the idea of, oh gosh, now they've got to go through some type of brain profile and a testing and maybe they're going to come across as being stupid. Yeah. Um, can you put our viewers' minds at ease about that whole concern? Yes, absolutely. You know what, Tracy, I think most people feel a little bit threatened by uh, the idea of a test because yes. a test always suggests that I can pass something but I can also fail right. something yes. and and that is uh, very important that uh, people have to understand that what we do is not a test yes. it is an assessment or it's simply just a questionnaire okay. that people fill in right. and the purpose of the questionnaire is for you to learn to understand your own amazing neurological design okay. um, you know if you understand that you're a four by four you'll know where you should be yes. if you're a uh, 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 um, a BMW, you should be on the racetrack. But Correct. that means you need to first understand your design before you'll be clear yes. on where should I be. Right. And, and, you, life, and you made a statement just now and during the break, which I really, really liked. You said you cannot fail at your own design. Absolutely. You I can never that. fail at your own design, but we're yes. all very unique. And you need to understand your strengths, your gifts, and your talents. Okay. And that is what makes you uh, add value to the world, is when you understand those gifts, strengths, and yes. talents and you make that available for the benefit of people but also for yourself right. but that's what you bring to the workplace yes. what you bring to a team yes what you offer the world uh, and there's that saying that says you can't put a how does it go a square peg in a round hole or the other yeah, way around absolutely. and I think um, Dr. Andre in so many cases with when we approach our children when we maybe approach our employees when we approach our own purpose in life, often we try to fit into an area that we actually were not designed to fit into. Absolutely. You know, one of our, our biggest challenges in life is we may sometimes, sometimes understand our own truth, yes. although many people like myself for decades, I was not even accurate about my own truth, about who I really was. Okay. Uh, everything I actually believed that I was not was what I discovered is actually who I am. Okay. <laughs> but we, we, we know our own truth, 
But then we project that truth to the world. So we often refer to this as the people like me principle. Right. So we want to connect and we even expect other people to be like me. Okay. And that's, that's the worst thing that we can yes. do. Is just like our fingerprints differ, so does the way that we learn and think and who we are. Right. And we, we need to have that space in our mind to allow another to be. Right. And you know, sure. that's one that's of those incredible. things, so many times in life, we, we expect others to be like me, yes. or they must fit into my bracket and the way that I see things. Yes. And, and what we have to understand is God made us all so very unique, unique, and we should be. Yes. The, the word human means be. Be, be what? Be who be you who are. Be who we're designed to be. I can think of... So many maybe employers that are that are watching this program right now. If you've got your a company with a couple of staff members or a whole group of staff members, the frustration that could be solved if they understood if their staff members were in the right positions according Absolutely. to their design. Can you imagine the freedom of of expression or the freedom, the the joy that the staff would experience by being filtered into the positions that they actually should be in, yeah. opposed to being forced into position that they don't really want to be in. Absolutely, in in Jim Collins's books uh, from uh, Built to Last and from Good to Great, he very specifically mentions that one of the trademarks of optimizing people's performance is getting the right person on the right bus on the right seat. Sure. Meaning wow. with that, when we play people to their strengths yes. and they get a chance to live themselves out in the workplace and being who they were designed to be. You, you talk about people who love what they do, but they also feel that they are adding value, but they're right. also feeling that they are actually a actualizing themselves. Okay. And that is okay. the trademark of a good leader is to, to, to find out who is the people that I'm responsible for yes. and how can I help.